ladies, here's the tutorial I was telling you guys I do for the uh, Mickey Mouse hooded towel. I'm actually going to do Minnie Mouse since I'm going to be using her next. Um, you will need a bath towel for the body. Um, Minnie Mouse, we're doing pink bath towel. Um, you will need a hand towel for the hood. Um, so we're using a black hand towel. Um, you will also need a black washcloth for the ears. And since we're doing her bow 3D as well, um, I use the infant um, or baby washcloths that you can get over in the baby aisle. Um, just because it's a smaller size. You could probably use a normal washcloth if you wanted to of, of a pink one. But I just have the infant ones on, si on, on hand. So I'll be using the infant size. Um, to start, you don't need anything but the hand towel first. So take the washcloths and the bath towel and put them aside because um, you won't need those for a while. So first you take your, your hand towel and you unfold it. Um, and you lay it out like so. So see, here's my entire hand towel. Um, what you want to do is you want to fold it hot dog style. So hold, fold it the long way. And I'm sorry if this is a little shaky because I'm filming while doing it one-handed. So you fold it hot dog style. And you're going to cut along your seam here. So you cut it so it, it has two. You're only going to use one, but a, it, uh, a, a hand towel makes two hoods, um, which is nice. So you cut along the long side of your crease like so. Um, to save time, I've already cut one up open. So um, we'll move over here. You take it and you put it on your machine. Now, I don't ever hoop my, my um, towels, but you can if you want to. Um, so there's my edge that I cut. You can see, you can see as it, it, it's the cut edged. Um, depending on how you have put your, your, um, design into the machine, mine, I've put it sideways, um, cause I wanted to add my daughter's name on the end. Um, if not, you can do it the normal view way. Um, always make sure that this finished edge is at the bottom of your design. You always want the finished edge at the bottom of the design. And you want to make sure you have the right side out because there is the, the fold over on the, on the towel. So make sure that that's all on the bottom. Um, you don't want that to be the top of your, on the, where your design is going to be. So you have it folded over like so. Okay. So then you have your design loaded and it's ready to go. Um, the first step, of course, is going to be the bow part. So I have already pre-made it, but what you want to do is you want to have an iron and I always, um, with towels, I use heat bond light, um, because they're going to be used a lot. And so I want to make sure that the fabric that I use is bonded to the towel. So of course, you know, I, I, I heat bonded it. Um, and then I'm going to peel the backing off like so. So then you can see the shiny stuff. So then you know that it's on there, right? So then you just place that onto your machine where that applique is going to go. Um, and then, of course, you stitch around it, pull it off, trim it, and I always iron it in between before I do my satin stitches. So you'll completely go through the design. I'm going to go through the design, and then I will show you how to put it together at the end. So see you in a sec. All right, so I have trimmed the pink part of the bow, like so. So I've pulled it off of my machine. I'm going to bring it over here to my iron. And like I said, I, I just have a cute little tiny one from like Joann's. I am going to iron that applique in place. Um, some people wait and do it after the satin stitches. I like to do it before. You can do it either way, whatever works best for you. So you iron that applique in place. You want to make sure that it stays, especially since it's on the towel. So nice and hot. Perfect. Now I'm going to re-hoop this. And, um, the next step is to do the face. So again, I'm going to take the peach, um, fabric and I'm going to put heat bond light on the back of it. And then I'm going to do the tack down stitches and then I will, um, pull it off, cut it and iron it again before I continue on with the design. 